Hello, I'm Paula from Tonic Studios and today I'm introducing the new Nugo watercolor pencils. You have got two sets. You have got the brilliantly vibrant and the hair and the skin tones. Let's look at the brilliantly vibrant watercolor pencils from Nugo. You're getting 12 different colors in each set. So you're getting the spring daffodil, the tangerine tango, the toffee apple, the cotton candy, the African violet, the true blue, the scuba blue, the imperial jade, lemongrass, cocoa bean, raven black, and white cotton. Obviously the white cotton and white is not very easy to show, but because they are so highly pigmented, you will be able to use the white on darker cards as well as any of the other colors. The other set is the hair and the skin tones. You're getting the pale blonde, the caramel popcorn, desert camel, barely bisque, ivory rose, soft apricot, strawberry milkshake, pinot noir, iced tea, roast chestnut, heather dusk, and wild mushroom. I have a stamp, this beautiful stamp from Tonic into a watercolor card. taking the wild mushroom uh, pencil I'm just gonna gently just color in uh, in the edges first just don't don't push too hard just just let it just go against the paper and because they are so highly pigmented the color will come through now to shade go over the area again and apply a little bit more pressure. Remember to start always gently and then add more pressure if you want to shade and intensify the color. Wherever you think there should be a natural shade, just underneath the cheek, you know, around the areas here you can go over it. Now I can go with a darker shade which is the um, heather dusk a little bit and just add a little bit more shading in the areas. And see how beautifully they blend again be very gently and very soft this i like to do circular motions sometimes to add but not pushing so that you cannot really see the circles then around here as well and adding those extra shades and the beautiful pigmented colors of the watercolor pencils from Nuru. they do all the work for you, you just gently go and the shade and create a perfect color image. Now this is how quick and easily you can color in an image with a new book watercolor pencil. I'm going to do a little bit of rosy cheek so you can make it really intense the color by pushing a little bit harder and then get a perfect little cheeks, pink cheeks in there. Another way of using your watercolor pencils, obviously because they are watercolor, is to apply them first to the piece of card and then blend them together with water. Now the best thing is again very very, very gently apply the color directly to the paper and shade if you want already with the watercolor pencil or you just don't worry about making nice and neat strokes. As long as you are gentle and not putting too much pressure, those strokes are going to be blended with a water brush afterwards. So then I'm going to take my water brush from Nibble. I always check in the back of my hand that it's clean. And then just blend them in. See how the strokes then disappear and they beautifully become a seamless blend of color and beautiful detail from the stem. 
it giving that watercolor subtle effect. Now another thing you can do as well is say for instance that you have got, um, I'm going to trim it down afterwards, but I wanted to use a little bit of yellow. You can always dab a little bit of, the, of, of the watercolor pencil uh, pigment on the side and use the same water brush to pick it up a little bit and that will hold a little of that color in there and make it a little bit less intense and the way that I'm blending it then you will get a little bit more shading automatically as the pigment from the pencil kind of gets diluted at the end of the area. This technique works really well if you want to mix two different colors. For instance, you, I want to make this green a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna take the white watercolor pencil as well as the Imperial Jade and then I'm going to use the water brush to blend them in a little bit and that will make them a little a little bit softer green. I'm going to pick a little bit of the yellow and then a little bit of the green. This is a good way if you prefer if to color in with a brush to get a little bit of finer detail into little tiniest of corners or if you want to have that more natural organic look of the watercolor paint. I'm adding a highlights in there as well. Now I will trim it all around and it will be ready for my cars. One of my favorite watercolor techniques is to do the water burst. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do color in quite pressing quite hard but not too hard using the from the vibrant reds the apple Color. Then I'm going to go with the orange, which is Sangerine Tango, and then add beside it a stroke of color. Now you can actually leave it as it is, or right, as it will be when I finish, or you can actually um, then blend it with water, and it will the colors will blend a little bit more. Then I'm going to go with the green. So I'm making a rainbow basically we're using the pencils in there. And then I'm going to imperial jade. So you can put as many colors as you wish. Obviously depending, you want to have colors that are beside on the color wheel rather than complementary colors beside each other because otherwise they can muddle together. Now I'm going with the um, scuba blue which is a beautiful teal turquoise blue and then just that in between colors then I'm gonna go finally with the true blue which is a you know a true blue more cyan kind of color mm. and then you have got this rainbow now what I'm gonna do is with a cl clean brush I'm gonna just make sure that it's clean and then just blend it in Because it's such a pigmented pencils you want to make sure that you just go in within the color and then blend it in between the two colors don't try to go directly onto across the colors because you could you know then blend them too much and you want to have the identity of the each color in there use a craft mat to clean the brush in between you can see the intensity, the vibrancy of these newer watercolor pencils.
and yet even though they have pigment in them they still will blend nice and easily see I'm blending in between Now, if for instance these two colors, once that you blend them, they have blended too much, you can always use the color, for instance, from Imperial Jade and mix it up a little bit more to create a darker green in between. So you create like basically a different shade that there wasn't there. What you don't want to have is harsh lines, so that's what I'm blending as much as possible. Finally, the true blue, that intense, rich blue. And one of the things I really love about this, the watercolor pencils is that you can, you know, they are so beautiful and intense, but also you can get more subtle effects, but not blending them with water. But you have got all possibilities. So see, I'm now blending all the lines. So then I don't have harsh lines. Then going across a little bit, and just blend them, those areas in there, don't want any, and there, blend. And that's how you do a watercolor burst using the watercolor pencils from Nouveau, which are perfect for then putting just a sentiment in the dye, in the, in the center, and it makes the most wonderful and happy birthday card. Or just put a die cut white on the top and that makes it even more stunning. I wanted to show you quickly how intense those colors are that you can use them on top of craft cards and it still will maintain the color and the paint because it's pigment in there and you can see perfectly well how the color maintains its own hue. And still you can blend them in, dilute them and it still will maintain that beautiful vibrant pigment in there. Another cool technique with the watercolor pencils from Nubu is that you can scrape them. Now what I mean is use a craft knife and gently just do a few scratches on the nib of the uh, tip of the pencil. So I'm using the vibrant ones in cotton candy, in toffee apple, and then uh, I'm going to use the um, spring daffodil. Now using the water mist from Nuvo, I'm just going to gently from the top I'm just going to spray it and then go in down and you can see how the vibrant color kind of starts coming down. You can then, if you wanted to, add a little bit more. So I'm going to go for black, just a few splotches of black, just to give it a little and you can see the intensity of the pigment coming through. And that makes a lovely background. Because it's pigment, the color doesn't travel as much through the water as if it was dye-based uh, watercolors. They tend to bleed a little bit into the water, but not completely run off. You still get the definition. And it's lovely to have these backgrounds, this possibility of using different backgrounds. So these are a few of the, the different techniques that you can do with the watercolor pencils from Nouveau.